Just be excited. Ignore this lie. All right. So, oh my goodness, you guys, I almost forgot to hit my watch. First of all, turn your watch on, right? Last week, I burned 500-ish calories. I don't remember numbers. We're going to shoot for the same number today or higher, right? We can share in the comments and talk all about how many calories we've burned, and then we're going to go eat tacos. So go ahead and start your watch. Go ahead and press play on your music. Start to move your legs. We're going to just bounce a little. We're going to make them bend and break. If you were listening to the music, you would know what that is. Start to lift the knees a little more. Maybe your arms start to pump. All right. We're going to kick this up a notch. Bring the knees up higher. High knees, go. Light on the balls of your feet. Pump the arms. Can you come faster? Hold. All right, breathing heavy. Feet outside the hips. Warm up the legs. Squat, down and up. All right, so we're gonna drop our butt right to knee height. Lift the chest, brace the core. If that feels good, start to lift the heels. We squeeze the glutes to lift. We got a pop squat. We're gonna reach together, reach together. You wanna be light. When you come down, you're reaching for the ground. It doesn't matter how, if you touch the ground or not, right? It's a low squat option, right? Hold, catch your breath. Just take a little jog, it feels good. Maybe you just wanna get a little jazz fingers, I don't know. Sometimes that feels good. <sighs> All right. It's almost time for me to turn on my Beyonce fan, y'all. Jumping jacks coming, Let, let's go. We're light in the knees, option, low in the legs. Keep it coming, go. Wherever you need to be today is awesome. If you want more, air jack. If you don't, it's okay. It's a warm up, y'all. We're not done. What? Maybe I just want to jump then. I don't know. Breathe. Hold. Shake it out. Awesome job. I'm going to turn on the Beyonce fan. We're going to get this party started. If you've not taken intensity before, we're going to do three moves. Lower body, one minute. Now, if you had a chance, like I warned you, to watch Pat's video, this is going to be aced, right? If you didn't, it's still probably aced, right? Our first move is going to be a squat to a lunge. So what you're going to do is squat with one leg. I'm going to take my right leg to a squat, and then I'm going to take it back to a lunge. Right? Let's go. Squat, lunge. So we send it over, we send it back. We will focus on our knees. To the side, knee stays behind the toe. Let's keep going, side and back. Now if you want to wait here, you can choose right at your chest. And if you wanted to torture yourself even more, you're not gonna come out of that front leg, right? How about 10 more seconds? 
Can you give 10 seconds to not come out of that leg? Hoo, 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 hoo. Three, two, we're gonna switch legs. Shake it out. Let's go. Squat and step back. Let's go. Squat, step back. Weight is in the heels of that front leg. So if you had to lift your toes, it would be lifted right now. Are you breathing? I hope so. Brace the core. We have 20 more seconds. Here's what I want you to challenge yourself. Don't come out. You can do that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We're keeping the chest up, core tight. Five seconds. Hold, shake it out. Next move, option to hold weight at your collarbone. We are gonna do a squat to a toe touch. Big deadlift. So I'm gonna squat and then touch my toes. Squat, touch. Let's go. 60 seconds. Core is tight. Here's what you wanna focus on. What is your back doing? Right, it's flat. So I squat and I reach. You got this. We're 20 seconds in. Have you ever thought a minute was so long? You got it. Breathe. Twenty seconds. That's what stands between you and the most challenging move we're gonna do. Now you're thinking, this wasn't the challenging move? No, it's not. If you need to, check in, align yourself. You ready? Shake it out. Hoo, hoo, hoo. One more for the lower body. Here's where I want you to focus. What are my knees doing, right? Call this a Billie Jean squat. So my weight is in my heels and my feet are outside my hips. I'm gonna squat down and then I'm just gonna lift my heels and stand. So here's the deal. I'm just lifting and lowering. My core is tight and this is where that chair comes into play. So I can hold and lift. You ready to join? Here's what you're not gonna do. You're not gonna come down and then everything shift forward. That's not gonna do anything but hurt your knees. We're not interested in that. What we're interested in is working that core and adding a little calf workout. This is how you get them apple bottom jeans right here. Whoo! You got it. Now if this becomes too much, even with the chair as your option, what you can do is stay in a pulse. Right? This is gonna be your alternative. Staying low, inch above, inch below. Think porta potty, right? Just hanging out. Lift, lower, stand. 10 seconds. Last five, you got this. Core's tight, hold, shake it out. What burns more? I don't even know. Is it my core or is it my legs? I don't know, but cheers my friends. Round one done. We move to upper body. Grab your weight option. I told you medium to light. This is your medium weight. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got a bicep curl. So if you have cans of beans, jars of salsa, whatever, bottles of tequila, I don't know what's in your house, but we're gonna curl up and then we're gonna curl out, right? So we're gonna start here where we turn the plates or the weight towards us, elbows staying right under shoulders. 60 seconds starts here. Now, here's the deal. If you're eye rolling me so hard right now, because this is not a challenge, I want you to lift a leg. 
right? I want you to make this harder for you. Now, if you're like, Psh, I want you to switch legs, because chances are you picked your easy leg, right? So you're just gonna stay nice and tall. Imagine you're a flamingo. Now, I don't know what's at your house, but if you have a BOSU ball, you're gonna stand on that, right? If you don't, get one, y'all. It's one of the best things I've got in this, in my studio, right here. Burning. Good news, 10 seconds left. Are you noticing, are you more stable on one leg than the other? The answer is no. You may be a instructor or a robot. Could go either way, right? Let's stop here, shake it out. Lighter weight here. Whatever you've got, we've gotten around the world, so we're gonna hit our shoulders. Your weights touch to the bottom, touch at the top. Let me stand back so you can see me, right? Touch and touch. Let's go. So there is a slight bend in the elbow. Nice and controlled. If you need an option, one arm at a time. And if you're sitting here going, oh my gosh, she did not start the timer. I looked at what time it started at. We're good. I got you. Don't worry. Most important thing here is that my shoulders aren't up here telling me lies in my ear like I can't do this. I roll them back. I'm stable. My core's tight. This whole workout is a secret core workout, you guys. Keep breathing 30 seconds. Last 15 here. Is it burning yet? No? Cool. Keep going. Last second here, finish this rep. Done, shake it out. I warned you, biceps, shoulders, triceps. We're hitting the deck. We're gonna come down to a tricep push-up. Here's, here's the thing, I know that tricep push-ups for a minute sound terrible, so we're not gonna do that, okay? We're gonna put our hands right under our shoulder and we're narrow so that when we come down, our elbows scrape our sides. Your knees can be tucked in, they can be further back, or you can be on your toes. But we're gonna come down, and then we're gonna go into child's pose. And then come back in, and then back into child's pose. Join me here. Get a little stretch. And here's an instructor cheat for you. Stay in child's pose longer if you need it, right? If you need it, take it. Remember that your elbows are scraping your sides so that you can feel that in the back of your arm. Good news, we're 30 seconds in. 30 seconds of burning already. Now remember options, my knees pull in more and I can still come back. Last 10 seconds, friends. Finish this rep right here. Hold. Awesome job. Open your arms, shake them out. Give a little tricep stretch if you need it. Have a swig of water and wipe your face. We finished round two. All right. Here's the deal. Core is next. We're gonna stay kneeling on our mats. If you want to grab weight, you can, keep it light. But today we're gonna focus mostly on obliques and our lower core. So roll your shoulders back, hands are wide or you're holding weights and you're just gonna reach for your knees, right? So I'm just reaching for my knees. I'm not doing this. Right? I'm not bending at the hip. I'm shifting over 
from the knee. Reaching, one hip comes out as I reach. I'll start your timer now. Maybe some of you got extra workout. You're welcome. So what does that look like if I picked up weights? Because maybe I don't think I'm feeling this yet. Because tomorrow I'll feel it. Reach, reach. Zip up your core, nice and tight. Good news, you're halfway there. Nice and controlled. Maybe you take out the hold in the middle. You got 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Roll onto your back. And you're gonna take your hands to your side. You're gonna go ahead and push your lower back in. So maybe that means you lift up your tail to place everything back down. So take your legs up, hands are to your side, and you're just going to drop and rise. Ready? Let's go. So what is the challenge here? A lot of times, you'll try to take your hands and put them under your tailbone, and you'll just add that little extra help, right? We're gonna try to take that out. You're at your house, right? No one's seeing this. So go ahead and take that out. See how low you can go before your arch happens in your back, because you're pushing that down to focus on those lower abs. Right, so we're just gonna focus. Maybe I can only come to here and I come back up. Maybe I can come lower and then I rise. Maybe I add a tail lift. Just play around. It's you in your living room. It's you, I don't know, in your garage. Keep going, keep breathing. We've got five seconds left. Hold, done. We're gonna come to our sides now. So, go ahead and set up as a side plank. You can be here. You can have your hip down. You can have your hip up. We've got a side oblique crutch. Now, if this is too much, you can come up higher if you need to. Reach, crunch. Timer starts now. Let's go. So what I want you to imagine right now is that there is a line right at your hip, right? There is a line right there. You can't make margaritas without it, friends. So make sure that your elbow and wrist are in line and crunch. Juice that line for your margaritas. Squeeze. We've got two seconds. Let's switch sides. So however your form was on one side, make it the other. Wrist and shoulder in line. Let's go. Squeeze, release. Option, some of them look down, right? Maybe your hip is down and that's okay. Wherever you are is perfect, will get better. Three, two, and one. Did you get enough lime juice for your margarita? Probably not. That's okay. The time you've probably been waiting for is right here. We have cardio. If you've not taken intensity, that means 30 seconds, four moves, okay? It's just two minutes. It's not a big deal. We'll repeat it. And for today, we'll just repeat it once. Don't say I don't do nice things for you. All right, your first move. I want you to sink down, pick whatever leg feels the best. They're both broken, sink, right? Then you're gonna take the other leg, the one that can move around, and you're gonna tap back and side. 
back and side. Right? I don't know why I do this with my arms. Just doing it. You choose what you want to do with your arms. Tyler starts now. Here's the thing that you want to make sure you're doing. Your knee is not coming forward. It is anchored down. Weight is in your heels. We are burning out that glute. We got 15 seconds. We're just doing a side tap and a back tap. It's not a full lunge. It's not a full squat. You're sinking in. Three, two, and one. That standing leg should be fire. If it's not, I don't know what to tell you, sink lower. I do know what to tell you. All right, move number two, toe taps. What, there's no bench. That's okay, your toe tap is still gonna come to the height that you would have that step in front of you. So you're just gonna lightly kick up. Ready, go, core brace. You got this, maybe you wanna get fancy and start to travel. I don't know what you wanna do, but you can do it here. 15 seconds, go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Next move, cross jack. So look at your feet, out, cross, right? What about my arms? Oh yeah, they're crossing too. Cool, ready, 30 seconds, let's go. Now, if you feel like I'm done jumping, tap out, keep tapping, right? That's your move. You've got 15 seconds to go. Now, the goal here is to breathe heavy. So crank it up for these last 10. Oh, I'm backwards. Here we go. Hold. All right. Three moves, one to go. This is your challenge. This is your core challenge right here. I know we work core. I don't care. We're doing it again. I want you to come to bear. So your hands are underneath your wrist. Nope, that's a lie. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders. There it is, tabletop. To come to bear, you pop up on your toes. This is not what we're saying. This is cardio. Start practicing. Kick your feet. This is where we are, friends. You ready? Let's go. Now, the moment you notice your butt's coming up and down dog, I want you to shift forward and take it to a mountain walker here. Right? You can run them out if you need to. Whatever you need, but your core is tight because you're kicking your own butt. You got this. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, how you feel? High five, how you feel? All right, listen, that's two minutes. We got two more, okay? Grab your water, wipe your face. We're going back to the side tap with the runner. Here's the deal with it. We got to give a leg. So you're going to sink into the other side. Whatever side you didn't do. Sink, you're going to tap and tap. Tap and tap. You ready? 30 seconds. Starts now. Let's go. Add those running arms because they're fun, okay? This is fun. You are having a good time. Just tell yourself that, even if you don't believe it. Tap and tap. 10 seconds. Come on. Leg burning. You got it. Three, two, one. We go back to the toe taps. Ready? Let's go, toe tap. You got this. Breathe, light on the feet. Remember, just get the legs up. You got 10 seconds. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Cross jacks. Are you ready for those cross jacks? Watch your feet, light. Ready, let's go. 
Did you tell yourself the sooner we start this, the sooner it's over? That can't just be me. Let's go. You got it. You got it. 10 seconds. Come on. Push. Hold. All right. Your bare butt kickers are back. I'm going to give you as a survivor exercise, should you need it, regular butt kickers on your feet. Starting now, let's go. Your option is up, just kicking your own butt, or your option is down and not there. Nice flat back and kick your own tail. The goal here, flat back, tight core. You don't want to send your tail up to the air. Spread your fingers out. Look in between them at the ground. You've got five seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. My friends, that was four minutes of cardio. Cheers. Cheers to that. Keep moving, right? You should be on your knees. You can come and stand. Grab your water. Walk around. I'm going to give you a little break right here. So we're going to keep walking. We're going to keep moving. Find your Beyonce fan and let it cool you down. Whatever you need, but you do not want to sit. This is not break, take a nap. This is break, keep moving. All right, we're going to run through all this again, right? So we are going to burn these legs again because they're not done. My heart rate says it's 158. That's not high enough. We're going to go harder. Are you ready to take this next round, this next 30 minutes, we're going to bring it up a notch, right? We start with that squat, then lunge. Option to hold weight. Totally up to you, your workout, your living room, your moves, right? So if you started with your leg, with your right leg going out today, this round we start left. Are you ready? 60 seconds. We're going to squat and then lunge. Squat and lunge. Keep breathing, keep moving, right? So here's your instructor cheat. Oh, I just came out of that squat. Let the blood flow back into my leg before I move, right? Now, if I want more, then I'm gonna stay. And this leg is planted down, and I'm staying. I'm keeping all the weight in my heel to activate that quad, right? How about five seconds left? You've got three. Two, and one. We're gonna switch legs. You ready? This time, go side, then back. So it's the numb one that's moving now. It's the one you can't feel anyways. Keep it coming. Core is tight. Make sure you're bending in that lunge, right? So I'm bending and bending. All right, chest is sitting up. You got this. You got 15 seconds. Keep moving. Remember the cheat if you need it. That's why I gave it to you. Just come out. Take one at a time. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Awesome job. All right. We've got the squat to deadlift move, right? So with weight, I'm going to squat touch my toes, right? Squat, touch my toes. Without the weight, squat, touch. You ready, let's go. Squat, touch. Now if you want a little more, back into the squat to rise. Totally your option, totally your workout. The good news is, your legs are gonna be amazing tomorrow, right? Right now, we're practicing on how to sit on a porta potty, right? Tomorrow, you'll remember it when you go to sit down on your porta potty, right? Let's go. We are 30 seconds in. You got this. Are you adding the extra squat for fun? We love a good squat for fun. Breathe. 10 seconds. What is your chest doing? It's coming with you. You're not leaning fully with it. It's sitting 
reaching, sitting, standing. How about five, four, three, two, and one. Finish your rep. Shake out your legs. One more move. That's all we got. Our Billie Jean squats. Remember, weight is really not the option here, right? But you can hold a chair if you need it. So we're going to sit, lift, and then stand. Let's go. Sit, lift, and then stand. Breathe, right? Core is tight, right? What you don't want to do is this number, right? That's a good morning. It's not a squat. We're sitting in our legs, activating our calves, and then rising. You've got this. We're going to see. This is your PT quiz right here. Did you take the information from Pat and apply it right here? You've got this. Keep going. Keep moving. Halfway there. Halfway, and you don't have to do this move again. Not unless you want to. Not unless you, unless you start listening to Michael Jackson. That's on you. Whatever you want to listen to. I don't control your Spotify. I just send you recommendations. I should have put this on there. 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Finish your rep. All right. Shake out those legs, friends. Goodness gracious. You may even feel it here on your back because that's part of the core that was locked in, right? It's part that was braced. All right, upper body, bicep curls in and out. Grab your weights, whatever you're choosing. And decide, are you gonna be a flamingo? Sure, yeah, yeah, sure, let's go. We're gonna curl in and then out, right? In and then out. So if you're thinking this is too much, then what I'd like for you to do is take one foot and just kick it back like a kickstand. Tuck your pelvis in, roll your shoulders back. See if that helps if you're feeling it in your lower back at all, right? In, then out. So that's your regression. You can always just do one arm at a time if you need it. I recognize you may be getting tired here, right? We've already done this workout once. You've already committed to 30 minutes. It's a commitment. I get it. So if you need to take it down, take it down. If you're like, no, man, this is beast mode, go flamingo, right? Here we go. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Go lighter. Whatever you do right now, lighter. We're going around the world. We're hitting those shoulders again. Are you ready? Lightweight. We're going up. And then we're going down, up, and down. You got this. So you want to make sure, again, we're not sticking our booties out. We've tucked our tails. If you need to, for support, add that kickstand. Stick into those legs a little. Up and down. You got this. Keep breathing. You got it. And you got 20 seconds. That's a good number to have. That's almost over. Awesome job. Three, two, and one, finish your rep, shake it out. Awesome job. Let's hit those triceps one more time. Remember, we have a tricep push-up back to the child's pose. So you can go as fast or as slow as you need to for these, right? What is important is that where your elbows go is to your sides, and then you come back up, right? Knees, toes, kneeling, doesn't matter. It's yours. You're ready. One minute starts now. We're going to go into the tricep push-up and then into the child's pose. As fast or as slow as you would like. 
knees, toes kneeling, your workout. If you need to, you can take a little bit longer in your child's pose, maybe stretch it out. Because you know what? We're not even halfway there. You got this. Reset whenever we have 20 seconds left. Last 10 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Shake it out. My friends, that's the second round of upper body. That means we move to core, right? Just blow it through this workout. You're doing amazing. Stay kneeling. Option to pick up weights if you want them. Remember, roll your shoulders, chest lifted, hands to your sides. You're just gonna reach and reach. 60 seconds starts now. Reach and reach. You got it. Maybe it feels good to be weighed down. See how that feels. Again, imagine those limes are right at your side. You got to squeeze out the juice. Squeeze it. You've got this. Reach. Now here, for the next 30 seconds, take out the hold. See if you can do it slow and controlled on each side. Squeeze. If you don't have any weights, are you starting to think that maybe one of your arms is longer than the other because you can touch on one side? That can't just be me right now. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's roll to our backs and work on those leg lifts. Again, we're targeting our lower abs here. So we're gonna lie down. This is where the tacos live. So we're gonna lie down and get rid of them so we can fill it back up. Go ahead and get your tailbone down, right? You want your whole back imprint on your mat, and then you're just going to lower your legs and then lift your legs. Controlled, see how it feels, play around with the option. You can bend your knees and tap your toes. Now, why didn't I give you that option the first round? I didn't forget about it. I was thinking we should challenge ourselves. And then as we get tired, if necessary, to take that regression. But just see, see how it feels, play around. Do your best not to take that cheat with your hands under your tail. See if you can just hold on to your mat if you need to, right? And then lower and then rise. Everybody's different. It does not mean that you can go down as low as someone else. Just do you. Feel the lower abs activate and catch your legs. I've talked us all the way through 50 seconds of this workout. You got it. How about five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. All right. We got one more move. We've got those kneeling oblique crunches. So you can take those on your elbow, elbow in line with shoulder, or up onto your hand. Hand, elbow, wrist, everything's in line, and you're coming up on your knee. We're gonna reach and we're gonna crunch. Are you ready? Let's go. Crunch, crunch. Now if you have your water ball in the way, move it so you don't hit it and go back to it. Options, I can come down low and I can drop my hip. I'm still reaching, I'm still crunching, I'm still activating those obliques. You got this, squeeze, option, I'm off my hips. Maybe I wanna see how that feels. Driving through this shoulder, right? I'm not sinking in. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Roll over, set it up, and let's go. Go ahead and start with wherever you're comfortable. 
You can try with your hip down, if that's where you are today. You can try by lifting your hip, driving through that shoulder. And if you start feeling yourself angle, you readjust, right? You want to keep off that shoulder so you're not angled, you're in line. Reach and crunch. Reach and crunch. You got this. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Guess what? All we have left right now is four minutes of cardio. That is it. That's practically nothing. Four minutes of cardio. All right. So here's where we're going to start. We've got the side tap to runner. So we're going to start with the other leg this time. Sink down. We're going to go tap back, tap to the side. Tap back, tap to the side. Are you ready? Let's finish this. Setting it up. Three, two, one, go. Sink into that leg. Make sure the weight is in the heel, right? So the knee is actually shifted back because we're not going to come forward and put any pressure in our knee. Back and side. Back and side. Wherever you are. You may not be lined up with me. That's okay. Because it's you. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. Sink a little lower if you can. We got four, three, two, and one. Toe taps. You already know what's coming. I don't have to explain it. Let's go. That means we'll just take less breaks and blow right through this, all right? Tap your toes. Now I'm going to give you a survivor exercise. Jog in place. That's your survivor exercise. If you don't like kicking your feet up, you don't have to, right? You got this. Breathe. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next move, cross jacks. Hands wide, arm feet wide, cross. Let's go, come on. Breathe, option, right? Option, your survivor exercise. You can jog in place if you need it, but you got 15 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Last move, bare butt kickers. Mountain climbers are an option here, or standing butt kickers. Whatever feel good, feels good for you. 30 seconds. Starts now. Let's go. You got this. Mountain climb, bare butt kick, or standing butt kickers. If your shoulders need a break, stand with me. You got this. I know you do. You got 15 seconds till a break. We got 10. Come on. Run the mountain if you need to. Kick higher. Three, two, and one. Oh, my friends. Goodness gracious. Guess what? My heart rate got higher than I said before. Awesome job. Take this time to grab water. Don't sit. Walk, tap your toes, pretend like you're dancing. Dance to the music, I don't know. I took my thing out. All right, we're gonna run through it again. We only gotta run through it one more time. You have two minutes left of this workout. Two minutes left. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda scared to get close to the camera so you can see how much I'm sweating. I'm standing back, cause it's like, I'm worried I'm gonna splash on it. All right. I feel like the camera's the splash thing. Okay, side to tap runner. Do you even remember what leg you used? Uh-oh, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what leg I used. So, try to remember what leg you used or be lopsided, I don't know. So we're gonna sink, we're gonna tap and tap. Let's go, tap and tap. Doesn't matter if you start back or side, cause we're doing both, back and side. Now. I'm sinking down into that standing leg. But I still want to make sure I can wiggle my big toes. Can you wiggle your big toes? Wiggle them. You got this. Keep moving. Breathe through it. Use your arms. We got five seconds. 
You got it. Three, two. We're just gonna go ahead and move to toe taps. Let's go. Come on. Oh, what's that? No break. We don't need one. We don't need one. We got this. Keep pushing. Option travel. Right. Remember your options to jog in place. You can do that too. Your workout. Y'all knew how many my neighbors just walked by and keep looking in here. You got five, four, three, two, cross jacks, go! Oh, no break! We can do hard things, O2 team. We're doing them right now. Let's go. The faster this workout's over, the faster we get to tacos! Whoo! Keep breathing. We got five seconds, and we're just gonna go straight to those butt kickers. Ready? Three, two, one. Kick your own butt. Oh, but look, don't take it easy, right? This is your last, last round of your workout. Kick your own butt. Come on, 15 seconds. Breathe, keep moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. My friends, holy smokes. I'm, I'm gonna come close, I'm scared to. High five central right now. So next move is the cool down, right? Keep moving, grab some water. What you're gonna do next is scroll all the way down to the end of this playlist. There's two songs at the end. The second to last song, click it, right? Place your feet underneath your hips. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale out. Do it again. Big exhale. Keep it coming. One more, we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna take our right hand to our right foot. Grab your foot, push your hips forward, stretch that quad. If you have the chair, maybe you're gonna hold on to the chair, right? Good. Take that foot, drop it behind the other one, pop that hip out, and reach over. Feel that stretch down your side. Take this arm that's in the air, drop it, bring it around, Stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale. You guys did an amazing job today. Again, one more breath in. This time your left hand floats down to your left foot. Knees together, push your hips forward. Maybe you're holding on to your imaginary chair. Feel that stretch down your quads. Drop that foot behind and then reach over. Feel that stretch down your side. Bring this arm down and around, drop the shoulder, stretch. We're gonna grab at our forearm or at our tricep. Let's open up our chest, thumbs up, roll the shoulders back, lace behind and pull down. Lace in front, drop your chin, pull out. Push away. Go ahead and grab one elbow, send it over, tricep stretch. Switch sides. Awesome job. We're gonna go ahead and take one leg back and then come all the way down, right? Unhook that leg, tuck in your tail. I'll show you from the side. A little hip flexor stretch. Lift that arm up and add a side twist. Send the hips back and the toe up, reach for the ground. Stretching the back of your leg, feeling that down your hamstring. Switch sides. 
Nice hip flexor stretch, so just kind of tuck your tail, feel it. And then lift up, exhale, twist. If it feels good, you can look over that shoulder. Send the hips back and the toe up. Stretch the back of that leg. We're going to come back. You guys, open up your hands and put them together. Awesome job to my friends. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing.